Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So I've been wondering when this would happen. When I would spot one of the little guy emerald green corridors. And finally, I spotted one of the little ones out in the open. So you can see the contrast here. One of the adults and one of the well, juveniles. So I don't know if that's one of the ones that I released a while back. Because I do have some still in that breeder box, but the ones that are in there now, when I collected the eggs and put those in, just before that, I did release a couple, but I haven't seen them since I released them. So, if that is one of those, but it could also be one of the ones that were in here, that hatched in here after the ones that I purposely released because the ones that are in here, there's four left in here. I had maybe 15 or so, but just recently, oh, what do you know? <laughs> Spotted some, there's some eggs. Didn't see, didn't notice any spawning, but there's some eggs that are hidden and out of the way that didn't get eaten. So last couple water changes, I missed I missed it when they were spawning. I know that they spawned because I did see like residue of eggs on the glass that were eaten, but these must have just been, just must have laid these and yeah, pretty cool. So, yeah, there it is. Emerald green corridor. Yeah, it was pretty close to the time that I could release them, but um, yeah, some of the big ones, bigger ones may have gotten on some of the small ones, but there's still four that I know of in here. Let's take a look. So I just put some Rapashi in here. Let's see that one just on top of Rapashi. There's one over here. Got it. And it comes out and up. Two more right there. So there's four in here. And now. Now I have to consider if I should collect these eggs and put them there. I think they. I think I will. Yeah, pretty awesome to see. Uh, there it is. Little guy corridor. I'm opening corridor. So, yeah, well, um, I said I didn't mention it. This is my 6 foot 84 gallon community display tank. So, there's a group of em emerald green corridors in here, and they've been spawning often, and I've been collecting the eggs. But to this point, None of them have I haven't seen any that were born in here except for that one that I just spotted, but I think I lost it wherever ever it is, I I think it's okay. And we have the the Kerbensis. I still haven't seen Kerbensis babies yet, but they Continue to hang out over here. There's the male and there's a female. Up and under here, under the, the dragon stone, they're digging a ditch. I just saw the male with a um, piece of gravel in its mouth. Bring it, duck in there, come out and drop it. And that's like the gravel right here on top of this Mopani wood is some that he just dropped. So you can see this kind of like mounds of it over here and then there's a ditch inside there and that's where they're forming their breeding their den I guess and they're getting 
protective of the area. When they were first in this tank, they there was no aggression towards the other fish, and you know they're not they still haven't really been aggressive. But when any just like that, if anybody comes close to their then they're chasing them away. Yeah, pretty awesome. So. Now that I spotted that one, I'm gonna end up sc scanning the whole tank, six feet long, to see if I can find other corridors. I was just considering, because there really isn't that much like plant cover to hide, I was thinking of maybe putting some subwasser tang in here and kind of stuffing it in between the, the dragon stone on this side. Just so they can, if there are any fry, they can hide in it. I mean, maybe this water wisteria, if that grows thick, that could kind of serve that purpose. Because there are sword chills in here, and the live bearers are, you know, breed the most, so are easiest to breed of all the um, tropical fish. But I haven't had any sword tails grow up in here or survive. I've seen fry here and there, not not many. Occasionally I'd spot a fry, but none have grown up because there's just too many other fish that can prey on them and not enough cover. Yeah, maybe, maybe they'll be able to um, have some survive with the Wisteria, if that grows in, yeah, I, I'll probably end up putting some Wester Tang in here. I mean, for one thing, it's kind of overgrowing in a couple of the tanks I have, have it most in, so I might have to pull some out of my 29 gallon and put some in here. I don't want it to grow out of control. I mean, this is one of the tanks that I didn't want it, I purposely kept Java Moss out of. But the difference between like subwasser tang, it doesn't grow as fast and it doesn't cling. Like job moss will cling to everything. Subwasser tang will just you know it can kind of spread, but it won't. It's easier to remove if necessary. Alright. So well that was the first juvenile corridor, so maybe there's there's more, or there ought to be. Yeah, that was pretty awesome to see that. And yeah, so I guess I'll collect these eggs and put them in the reader box. Maybe I'll just release what's the four that are in here so I can then put these eggs in there. I do still intend to set up another tank. My well, one, my five and a half gallon might. I'm going to intend to break it down and clean it up, and because right now I have one that doesn't have any fish in it, and use that as a grow out tank for corridors, and I'll put some eggs in there. But they did it again. They they spawned where I wasn't ready for them. I mean, this one wasn't. Even, I didn't. I'm, in the next couple days I'll probably do a water change, but you know, they would spawn right after and oh, still spawning even without water changes. That's one of the things that kind of triggers their spawning. But yeah, there's rapashi food I put in here and that is I think one of the best foods for to get corridors to breed. I haven't fed live food in this tank in a long, long time since I got live black worms a while ago, but it's just been the Rapashi and they're breeding with that. So yeah. Alright, enough rambling. And that's it for now. And remember, I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishes. Thanks for watching.